CNN, like all the other big media networks, are trying to get in on the streaming fun. So let me throw up this article here from Variety for you. Don Lemon will host weekly talk show on CNN+. Plus. Don Lemon. See, what CNN is doing... Here, let me read this to you first. Don Lemon often uses his late-night show on CNN to get a little heated about the newsiest topics of the day. He may even get more latitude to discuss them online. Lemon will host the Don Lemon Show on CNN+. Plus, The soon-to-launch subscription video hub, CNN builds a new program as a weekly effort that will feature both the host and a studio audience and no limits to the conversation. Except all the times Don Lemon wants to censor other people for talking. The move suggests CNN is continuing to invest heavily in its new venue. Backing a show with a studio audience adds new cost to production, and CNN has already ramped up hiring for, for the project, assigning new roles to journalists like Cassie Hunt, Casey Hunt and Chris Wallace, and commissioning a limited-run documentary series with Eva Longoria. Other CNN anchors are also launching new programs, but Lemon's talk show is likely to require additional personnel beyond the scope of other projects for the service. Okay, so what CNN is doing here that is just beyond silly is they are, instead of doing a streaming service and catering to a different audience, because look, to keep it real, the audience they cater to now is not big enough because they suck. Their ratings suck. Fox News is number one, and then MSNBC and CNN, you know, jockey for position behind them, but way behind Fox News, and nobody really likes them. CNN is a network that's like on in the background at an airport when you're walking through it. Nobody actually, let me tune in and see what Wolf Blitzer has to say today. Nobody does that. But instead of like, hey, let's adjust our business model. Let's try to get more charismatic, authentic, honest people in this streaming realm. They're just taking all the people that get terrible ratings that are on their air and plopping them on the streaming service. I mean, you would have to be a, a business idiot to do that. But apparently they are that. They are. So you you saw Casey, Cassie, whatever her name is, Hunt. You know who she is, right? She's on Morning Joe from time to time. She's going to have her own show. Okay, I would rather watch paint dry than listen to her talk. Just no charisma. There's And she doesn't make up for the lack of charisma with like brilliant, salient points. I don't know how they decided to give her a show. It gets better. So you got Chris Wallace, who came from Fox News. Okay, thank you for 65-year-old, 70-year-old Fox host that you're going to now put up there for people. How, by the way, how well is that going to do on streaming? Seriously. It's going to be like eight viewers. Um, Anderson Cooper is going to host a parenting show. I can't wait to see that one. Um, NPR host Audi... Audi, Audi Cornish is going to have a show. I don't even know who that is. They mentioned Eva Longoria. Instagram food guru Allison Roman is going to have a show. Former NBA player Rex Chapman is going to have a show. I mean, this thing, look, unless they pull some strings, have some tricks up their sleeve, rig some shit, or make a deal with some other company, um, this is going to be a phenomenal disaster. It's going to be a glorious disaster. Because they can't... Who's going to pay for this? Who's going to want to stream this? You know, my guess is at some point they'll have to pivot and make some sort of deal where it gets shoved down our throats by making a deal with, I don't know, Spotify or Apple or Amazon or somebody and it's like force-fed to people. Because look, that's what they did on YouTube, right? We know this whether it's CNN or MSNBC or any of the big networks, there was a time when they would post a video and get like 600 views on it. And then YouTube changed the algorithm to give them favorable treatment because, oh, there's so much misinformation that we need to prioritize authoritative news sources. So now if you watch anything involving news, you get super served the CNN stuff and the MSNBC stuff and the traditional media stuff because it's safe. So they had to like rig the system to get more views on YouTube. And my guess is, they're not gonna, they have to have tricks up their sleeve because they can't just be sink or swim on this streaming thing and think it's going to work because there's no way it's going to work. There's no way. So it's just amazing how perpetually underwhelming these people are. You know, it, it's never more clear than when looking at mainstream media that it's functionally an anti-meritocracy. It's not that the harder you work, the further you go, the more talented you are, the further you go. If anything, it's the opposite. If anything, it's the, who can give me the most conventional wisdom, bland talking points? And those are the ones who will get uh, promoted. 
And so you got 47 hours of Don Lemon. You got more Anderson Cooper, Chris Wallace, Cassie Casey, whatever her name is, Hunt. It's going to be so bad. It's going to be so bad. And my guess is they will hide their numbers, baby. Woo, doggy. They will hide their numbers like nobody's business. <laughs> because if they don't, it'll be the most embarrassing thing ever. Oh, I saved the best fact for last year. Best fact for last. Uh, Don Lemon compared himself to Oprah when giving interviews about his new show. He's like, look, I've always been obsessed with talk shows, Johnny Carson, whatever, from when I was a kid until now. What I want to do is I want to be the Oprah and bring an Oprah-like theme to the new generation. Don, you ain't Oprah, dog. You ain't Oprah. You don't have it. You don't have it. I mean, what does Don Lemon do on his show now? He just goes out on his uh, CNN show and finger wags at people and plays the offended card a zillion times. It's not particularly thoughtful. It's just, it's like elite liberalism distilled into its purest form. And now he thinks he's going to be Oprah on a streaming show that nobody's going to watch? Please, please. The self-aggrandizement of these people is astounding. Astounding. They have no idea how they're viewed. None of these people have any idea what the country thinks of them. Media, trust in media right now is at a historic low. And they act like everybody loves them. And like they're fucking A-list Hollywood celebrities. You're not. Nobody likes you. And I hope that CNN doesn't have tricks up their sleeve. And we get a sense of just how abysmal this thing fails. Because guess what? It's going to fail unless they rig it. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.